Look, I'm in ears. I've been all around the world. Oh, oh, Main Street, USA. Every city, every place. Oh. I told you that you would see these ears again before I do my major project with them, but it is my It's a Small World ears that I got from the Bippity Boppity box. But we're not here to talk about ears today. We're here to talk about pens. Pens, pens, pens. Okay, so I have been tagged by Christy at Christy's Corner um, with this pen tag. It is a pen tag that she created. It is the, I'm going to read to make sure that I get it correct, the Hot Air Balloon Day Disney tag. So, many of you might not know that in June, we actually are supposed to celebrate Hot Air Balloon, June 5th to be exact. So, Christy wanted to celebrate I just lost a pen. Did you hear that? And it's, of course, it's the first pen that I'm supposed to show. <sighs> Vlogger problems. Oh my gosh. The candle, I thought, oh my gosh. So I looked up at the viewer for a second and I saw what looked like a cloud, like a blur, a cloud. I was about to panic. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's on my lens? Uh, yeah, it's just the reflection from the candle. It just really looks weird. The first show me on this pen tag is show me your oldest pen. So I don't think this is necessarily my oldest. Um, I really didn't have a lot of time to go through the whole collection. I'm pretty sure I have some 1999 pens. Not that there's many of them. But I do have plenty of 2,000 pens. So I'm actually going to go with a dated 2,000 pen. I love this pen because it is an MGM pen. I just now recently, after all these years, was able to stop calling it MGM and call it Hollywood Studios. The next show me is show me a pen that represents a means of travel. Because, you know, hot air balloon is a means of travel. This one was so simple, simple. Don't have to look into this pen at all. You see where I'm coming from. But it is all about traveling. It's about traveling to Disney for many of so you. So we've got three planes there traveling in the sky with some hidden Mickeys. Um, it was so easy. I could have used so many different pens. But that one did just kind of pop out at me. Okay, so the next show me is show me a pen that is full of color. And we're going to go with an Epcot pen that just has a whole bunch of rings of different colors. The pen, but you've just got like a rainbow of colors on the back of, backer card. So there are color galore on this little figment celebrating Epcot 35 years Next pen. up, show me a pen that represents heat to you. Actually, I had totally forgot I had this pen and that was a gimme too. So we're going to Trader Sam's on this one, guys. Ooh, why are you crooked? All right, so obviously there's tons of heat coming out of that volcano because of all the lava. I believe this pen came out last year, 2018. Next show me is show me a pen that represents air or blowing air. Yeah, I got a pen where something's blowing all right. This How fantastic pen. Uh, this little creature here is blowing a lot of hot air fire to be exact so this one was kind of a gimme a lot of colors in this one i was actually surprised i wanted this pen um i don't know it just called out to me i love phantasmic and yeah it was one of those pens i believe this one also came out last year 2018 um oh my gosh are we on the last one yeah I think we're on the last one. So, show me a pen that either has a hot air balloon, has a balloon on it, 
or a bubble effect. I actually forgot I had this pin and I was so excited when I saw it because I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually have a pin that has a hot air balloon on it. So, going to give you a little, not, not really trivia, but let's just see if you know. So off the top of my head, I can think of two places and Walt Disney World that have hot air balloons. Now, really, like, I've given this no thought. This is like, just as I'm sitting down, came to my head. So there could be more. Um, please do not doubt my Walt Disney World intelligence. Um, if you think of another one and I haven't, it's just, seriously, I, I haven't even like thought about each park or anything. Just two popped into my head immediately. So I want you to comment below what those two are. If you have to pause the video to think about it for a minute, please do that. Don't cheat. Don't read anybody else's comments. Well, actually read everybody else's comments, but then be truthful and say, oh, I only thought of one. Or, are you kidding me? I didn't think of any. Tell me below right now. Comment, 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 comment. Okay. First one is the really easy one. Disney Springs actually has a balloon. Characters in flight of flight characters in flight and also comment below do you like the old color scheme or the new color scheme i kind of like the old um i'm getting used to the new one but yeah I, it takes me a while to get accustomed to change i think that's what it boils down to although i will never ever 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 get used to the new world of Disney. I am so disappointed in that. They took the Disney out of the world of Disney. Do you know that I have probably made, since they've changed that, you know, um, refurbished it, remodeled it into more of an industrial look to actually fit into Disney Springs. Since they've done that, I have probably had five Disney trips. Do you know I have not bought one single item from the world of Disney? And I'm not saying I went in not to buy anything. It's just that I don't stay in there as long anymore because I just don't feel it like I used to. I, I just rather go shop at Mouse Gear or um, just the Emporium on Main Street. I just, I, I don't feel it there anymore. So comment below on your, what you think. Um, of the new world of Disney. I know a lot of you guys love it. You like you like the new industrial look. I just think it took the Disney away and I'm just kind of old-fashioned and I liked all of those awesome things that hung on the ceiling and all the decoration and <sighs> okay I'm sorry we're on pins. Anyway oh we're talking about hell air balloons. See I got totally sidetracked. Hot air balloon. So the other one is at Hollywood Studios at the Muppets attraction. So I have an actual Walt Disney World piece of history pen. I love these pens. I collect them. So this is the Muppet Vision. So actually um, I could have got away even if this didn't have a hot air balloon on it. It has a bubble effect as you can see right here. So actually I could have used it for that, but it actually has the hot air balloon. So I was totally excited that I actually found a pin with a hot air balloon on it. So if there's another one that you can think of, the hot air balloon Disney pin tag. So with a pin tag, I guess I have to tag people. Now I know Christy tagged a lot of people. I'm going to try not to go obvious because I know some of you are going, oh, I know what three people she's going to, to um, tag, but I'm going to try to not be obvious this time. And let's go with Tinkerbell Terrence. Let's see what's in your pen collection. If you are new to the Mouse Diva channel, I don't just do pen tags. I have a whole bunch of just regular Disney World vlogs, restaurant reviews, hauls. 
all sorts of things. I hope you'll join the Mouse Diva family by hitting that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button so you can be notified when I upload and I will see you at the parks. Now there's a window change